House at 10, it's now up to voters in four different neighborhoods mm. to decide whether they want to become part of the city of Mobile. Now, if they do, it could make Mobile the second largest city in the state. Right. And at yesterday's city council meeting, members unanimously approved the mayor's annexation plan. Our Ariel Mallory is joining us live now outside one of the neighborhoods that could be annexed in. Ariel, a lot of people still on the fence about this. Yeah, they are, Lanisa and Byron, but they've still got time. Now, more than 25,000 people will be included in that vote. Now, Mayor Sandy Stimson says they're shifting their focus on these neighborhoods to show them the benefits of being annexed. What is the benefit of being part of Mobile? I mean, it's, it's, the, it's the additional services that they will get that otherwise they will never get. Tonight, some people just outside the West Mobile city limits have a big decision to make that could shape the future of Mobile. At Tuesday's city council meeting, all six council members voted to approve an annexation plan that would incorporate four different areas. Neighborhoods including Kings Branch area, Orchid Estates area, near the Mobile Regional Airport and Cody Road. Some still undecided. I'm, I'm kind of indifferent. I'll be fine with annexing into the the jurisdiction and getting the services, and I'm okay with how things are right now. Calvin Klein says he's lived in the Carrington subdivision for the last 20 years. Klein says he pays $69 a quarter for his trash services and would appreciate the city taking over the expense. Trash service, uh, the fire service, police service, all of that. I'm in somewhat of that jurisdiction already, but uh, I feel like, you know, for me, it's, it's a wash one way or the other, uh, whether we get annexed or not. Another resident, Garfield Lewis, says he would vote in favor of annexation. One of the concerns raised at Tuesday's city council meeting was the increase of taxes. Lewis says prices eventually will go up either way. Oh, yes, I support it. You know, I really do things support it because it's part of the police department, fire department, and garbage, you know, and there's other benefits there, too. It, this damn time, everything is going up, you know, so it's going, it's going to do it whether we, I think, whether we annex or not, we're going to see a, a uprise in taxes either way. Chief of Staff James Barber pointed out that those communities pay taxes to the city with no representation. Barber says annexation would benefit voters more in the long run. Things like securing their police and fire protection in the future and being able to sustain that, getting EMS coverage back into their area, having garbage and trash pick up, and probably the key element is having presentation. Now, no election, special election date has been set. Chief Barber says it could happen anytime between the 4th of July and Labor Day weekend. Live tonight in Mobile County, Ariel Mallory, Fox 10 News.